It's the weekend, and on Mogadishu's main waterfront, families have come to enjoy the balmy waters of the Indian Ocean. Girls splash as boys strut and show off. Amid the rubble of the abandoned colonial era villas, new developments are emerging. All unthinkable. A year and a half ago, when the Al-Qaeda linked militant group Al-Shabaab controlled vast swathes of the city. Over at the village restaurant, this is the busy time for chef and owner Ahmed Jama. When he first came to Mogadishu five years ago, though, it was a very different story. And when I opened this restaurant, I could not believe it. There's someone going inside in this place and he's going to have a restaurant. In Mogadishu? In Mogadishu. During the war, at the height of the war? This is what's a front to light. To Where we're standing right here? Yeah. This was a, as a, the grave area. And no one goes on. Today, it's one of the most popular places in town. One of five restaurants, all called The Village, owned by Ahmed. They've never seen the last 20 years. And uh, people go somewhere, have a nice, fresh coffee. And also have a nice, fresh food. It seems like my restaurant is made to open the wall and see, you know, they have a life before. They never have a life before. For the first time in a very long time, Somalis have a choice of where to go to meet friends, enjoy cappuccino and even a pipe of flavored tobacco, albeit discreetly. His patrons have developed a taste for green polenta, oxtail and lobster Somali style. But of course, this is still Mogadishu. Al-Shabaab may no longer have a visible presence in the city, but they're still here. At the entrance to the village restaurant stand armed guards. The gate is fortified with sandbags. A gunman looks down from the turret. A legacy of the last time Al-Shabaab chose to make their presence felt. In November last year, two men came up to the front gate of Ahmed's restaurant with explosives strapped to their bodies, detonated the explosives, killing a soldier right here at another restaurant. Another explosion, 25 of his customers were killed. And yet Somalis, Mogadishu residents, still keep coming out to these restaurants day after day with their families. Ahmed says as long as his customers keep coming, he's willing to keep risking his life alongside them. They're trying to stop the people feeling like they have a new life. I'm not going to stop for that. I just keep going. For the first time in the more than two decades of Somali conflict, there's a sense of optimism. A newly appointed president, planned reform for the country's security forces, and promises of substantial support from the international community. Somalis, it seems, have had a taste of normal life. And Al-Shabaab violence, no matter how bloody, no longer holds the power it once did. Nemal Bagher, CNN, Mogadishu.